Yes, sir. It's the off season. Got my ball bag here. Ready to go to the football field, get some work in every day. We gotta get better. It's crucial that each and every day we put maximum effort in. So I'm heading to the football field. Let's get this work in. Guys, it's raining pretty good. It's actually been raining for a long time now. This whole morning, it's been raining. So today, we're gonna have to train at home. We're gonna have to overcome this problem of the rain and find ways to get better as a punter and as a football player while it's bad outside. So thankfully, my uncle has a home gym. Also, maybe I will decide to construct an at-home punting net to do some one-step punts into, I don't know, Let's see if we do that or not. Let's get this working today for real, even though it's raining. It's kind of like uh, upper body slash core slash a lot of stretching. Hopefully it's good weather tomorrow. We can go to the fields and punt. I was gonna do a full on like private punting workout. My uncle who punted in the NFL for 19 years was gonna take me through a punting workout as if it were um, with a special teams coach and with a, an NFL club. And actually, when I was a free agent, I'm back in college football now, but when I was a free agent, I actually um, did a couple private workouts with NFL teams before COVID shut everything down. I have actually a video of that if you guys wanna check it out. And if you guys want more information on what that was like, I can make a whole separate video if you want. And real quick guys, what this machine does is, if you never heard of it, it's called a power plate. Usually only, you know, football teams or organizations have it because it's so expensive. But my uncle has one because he got one for the last few years of his career. And it basically vibrates your legs when you stand on it. And it has all these settings here. I do the highest setting, so 50 wavelength will first press start. 50 wavelength on high with air and just for 30 seconds right now. When you press start, as you guys can probably hear, it vibrates and as I'm standing on it right now, it's uh, vibrating through my leg up into my muscles and when you do more dynamic exercises on it like squats it really um, speeds up your warm-up time and it's really good and functional so that's what we're doing now before the workout Next sort of warm up thing that's really good is jumping rope. Good for your calf muscles and quick twitch and endurance and cardio as well. So highly recommend for kickers and punters to warm up with jump rope. Now, does a punching bag like this actually help for punting? Probably not. Is it fun? Absolutely. This is what happens when you get prideful. Pride comes before destruction. I have to hold this thing up when I should have just been focused on punting exercises. So this is drywall, anywhere you see insulation on it, I didn't get studs on any of them. Yeah. I missed the studs, maybe, maybe this one was in a stud, but when you got all these that are just in the drywall, oh, yeah. I thought, sure. All right, guys, the 
punching bag is temporarily under construction. It came out the wall. So thankfully I'm a punter and not actually a boxer. So this won't affect my workout too much, but now it's time to get into more uh, beneficial workouts. Here we go. back in my room now it's time to do some drops and uh my workout was still pretty good the boxing fail where i hit my head kind of shook me a little bit at the beginning not gonna lie but now it's time to get some drops in and get better let's go if you're a hunter you should be doing hundreds of drops a day there's literally no excuse even if you're injured you can still do drops if you have a torn hip flexor, you can still do drops because you're just walking. And the key with drops is to do it at the same drop height you do it for a punt, keep the ball as still as possible, and make sure it's exactly how you're designing to drop it. For me, the ideal drop is flat, nose ever slow slightly in, and depending on what type of punt I'm gonna hit, uh, maybe a little nose down or a little nose up. For all intents and purposes, the ideal drop is flat, actually a hair nose down, slightly in, right over the middle part of your leg, and not inside, not outside, but straight over it. You may want a little bit of glide, depending on the anatomy of your body, if your legs are longer. For me, my legs are proportion, proportional to my body, pretty uh, average, I'd say, they're not longer legs than usual, so I just have um, an ever so slightly glide, and that is my ideal drop. So let's do it, it should be bouncing back straight up to me like back to me or just straight up. And uh, we're gonna do a lot. Let's get it. Life of a punter. This is basically the same as the football net we have during practice, so get it. Okay, works like a charm. Focus for once for no step drills, focus on ball contact and hitting the spiral. Perfect. Same thing. How it works right here. Perfect. Sorry, Mark. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> you know, don't touch it. 